It is 6.53, time to get you ready for your Friday with the morning sprint. Well, Nikki Torres is live checking out one of Spokane's newest gyms near Gonzaga. And Mark Peterson is letting you know about a chilly weekend ahead, and our Kelsey Morgan has the details of a deadly shooting in Vancouver. But first, new job numbers are out this morning, and they show weaker growth than expected. 136,000 jobs were added in August, below market expectations of 145,000. The unemployment rate declining again from 3.7 to 3.5 percent. Dozens of feral cats are living at an abandoned home in East Central Spokane. The home has been condemned and is set to be demolished in just a few days. Volunteers with a local animal rescue group called Mercy's Mission says there could be anywhere from 30 to 100 feral cats on that property. So the group is working with the home's new owner to humanely trap the cats and take them to Stevens County Cat Care, where they will get spayed and neutered and be placed up for adoption or for sale as barn cats. We have a cool start today. Temperatures in the mid-30s, but also quite a bit of fog out there. So we want to urge caution, add a little more time into your commute. 10-second takeaway, really, fog to rain showers. So, yeah, that cold, clammy morning and then the rain. So get ready for some wet weather. Well, an 80-year-old man is suspected of shooting three people in the lobby of a Vancouver senior living facility. One man was killed. Two women were hurt. The police say the suspected gunman lives in the building. After the shooting, they say he ran up to his apartment and barricaded himself inside. SWAT teams tried to get him to surrender for two and a half hours. He was finally arrested around 5 o'clock last night. Those who know that man are now left wondering why. I like him. Go along with him fine. I thought he was a nice guy. I sat and talked to him for a long time. The man now faces charges of first-degree murder and two counts of attempted murder. One of the two women who was shot has already been released from the hospital. The other is in good condition. Today, a local organization is offering to help you pay off your energy bill. With temperatures dropping, SNAP knows many in our community have to make sacrifices in order to heat their homes. So the local assistance group is holding an event at Fairgrounds today. It's from 8 to 2 to help out. Representatives will be there to meet with you to discuss assistance options. Your bill does not have to be late. You just have to meet the low-income requirement. In the past few days of the energy assistance event, SNAP has already paid more than 1,000 people's bills. The Sammamish community in Western Washington is mourning the loss of two Skyline high school <coughs> students. Both 16-year-old boys overdosed on opiates within the last two months. King County has seen a recent increase in overdose deaths believed to be linked to counterfeit pills and powders laced with the extremely powerful drug fentanyl. A prayer vigil for students will be held at the local church tomorrow evening. All right, coming up next on Good Morning America. A sit-down with the young man who moved the country when he found it in himself to forgive the woman who murdered his brother. If you are trying to forgive her, understand that she is a human being. She still deserves love. Next, hear more from Brent John and his message for those who can't seem to understand what he did. And paying off debt, it's a stress so many of us are struggling with. So how did this couple manage to make more than $100,000 vanish in less than three years? It was a huge burden. We wanted to make sure it wasn't attached to our lives for forever. Next, learn about their snowball method and their strategy for buying things like groceries and clothes. Well, it is National Taco Day today, and a local taco shop is helping you celebrate by giving you a free one. Chronic Tacos in downtown Spokane. It's on the Bennett Block. They're offering one free taco during lunch hours today if you know the code word. You don't have to buy anything to get the free taco, but you do have to say Taco Life at the cash register. It's happening from 11 this morning until 2. Chronic Tacos is at 524 West Main, right next to the old Macy's building. Good morning. We have been live at Empire Fitness all morning long. You got a little taste of their classes. We're back with Houston. For people who want to try this out, what should they know? Uh, they should know we have something for everyone, whether you're a beginner or a professional athlete. Um, Empire's got, got something for you. And a reminder, the first class is free, and it is Fall Family Weekend at Gonzaga. So if you are a GU student, you can come here and take any of their classes for free this weekend and also bring your family. And this weekend, you can hang out with some dinosaurs at Jurassic Quest. The annual exhibit is back at the Spokane Convention Center starting today. There will be more than 80 gigantic, walking, even breathing dinosaurs. This year's tour also features 
more baby dinosaurs than years past, and a dinosaur movie. Jurassic Quest opens at 3 o'clock today, goes from 9 to 8 both days this weekend. Tickets are 22 bucks for adults and kids, $20 for seniors. Active duty police, firefighters, paramedics, and military get a discount. Just show your ID. Seahawks season continues to be off to a strong start. Seattle won a thriller at Century League Field last night, hanging on to a one-point lead when Greg Zerline, the Rams kicker, missed a field goal just barely in the final seconds. Hoss QB Russell Wilson had another impressive performance leading the team with four touchdown passes and likely earning a spot in the NFL MVP conversation. That throw to Tyler Lockett was sick. Mm -hmm. Wilson has yet to throw an interception in the team's first five games of the season. They're now four and one. A local coffee spot being recognized for its roasts. Indaba Coffee Bar and Roastery recently entered the North American Golden Bean Competition, the largest coffee roasters contest in the world. Indaba took home four medals, including a first place finish for its high drive espresso blend. Indaba has five locations around Spokane, including downtown and Kendall Yards. And Matthew may very well work at one of those. All right, foggy start out there. It is, a uh, again, a cold, humid day, so be prepared for that. Uh, we're going to continue to see the potential for rain showers by midday. Saturday, it's going to be cloudy 58. Sunday, 61. The sun comes out, and we start to warm up Monday at 64 degrees, and then it starts cooling down. I just want you to know that Monday looks to be sunny. Sunday is going to be nice, too. No excuse to have a case of the Mondays. Nope. All right. This script toss for Mark and the Extreme Team and Jamie and everybody at Rescue for All for a job well done this week. Have a great weekend, everybody. That was kind of a dud, though. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs>